When does the World Cup start? A month? Six weeks? Nope. 12 days from now. Yes, the World Cup is fast approaching, starts in less than two weeks. And with crypto and sports being so intertwined these days, many coins are poised for a breakout during the four week long World Cup. In today's episode, I'm going to go over four coins that could pop due to their affiliation with the World Cup and soccer in general. But first, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, drop a comment down below. And also in tomorrow's episode, I'll have a guest on the show, another influencer, one of the more underrated influencers out there. I'm excited. We're going to film tonight. Have that tomorrow. It'll just be a fun, lighthearted episode talking about some coins. So definitely stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's begin. FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. In recent days, you've probably seen headlines like this. FIFA World Cup expected to be a massive boost for crypto adoption, analyzing FIFA World Cup's impact on the crypto ecosystem. And there was a period of time back in the day when having crypto sponsorship with the World Cup or any soccer major sporting event would have been unheard of now. Crypto is so mainstream and so trendy, you absolutely have to have it as a sponsor at the World Cup. If you don't, you're missing out on a hugely, highly profitable advertising demographic. So it's not really a question of Will there be crypto sponsors? It's which crypto sponsors does FIFA agree to let sponsor the tournament? Now, why is it such big business? Well, it's just the size of the tournament. So to put it in perspective, the 2018 World Cup final franchise so that averaged global audience of 1.12 billion. And then each of the 64 games during that tournament averaged 191 million global viewers. The Super Bowl in comparison, globally, the last one average between 120 and 140 million people. So again, Super Bowl between 120 and 140 million global people. World Cup, each of the 64 games, 191 million people. So it's like having 64 individual Super Bowls in a 30-day period. This is big business and a lot of crypto projects that are intertwined with the FIFA World Cup and soccer in general are poised for a lot of advertising attention and some pumps. Let's see which ones they are. The number one project, which I have pegged for a breakout, is Algorand. So I've covered this a bunch on my show here, but Algorand, they are the official blockchain sponsor of the World Cup. They're not the official trading sponsor. We're getting that in a sec. They're not the official overall crypto sponsor. They're the official blockchain sponsor. So what does it entail? It's a sponsorship and technical partnership deal. Algorand will provide the official blockchain supported wallet solution. So it looks like maybe all payments that people make to buy stuff for the World Cup will have to go through the Algorand wallet. And then in addition to this World Cup, they're also sponsoring the Women's World Cup in 2023 in New Zealand. And I had also heard from the Algorand team that they're also sponsoring the Men's World Cup in 2026 as well. So they are very into the soccer. Further details of the partnership. So Algorand will assist FIFA in developing its overall digital asset strategy. So Algorand will sort of be the crypto consultants for FIFA, while FIFA will provide sponsorship assets, including advertising, media exposure, and promotional opportunities, essentially meaning the Algorand logo will be splashed all over stadiums, on merchandise, maybe on some jerseys too, standard sports partnership deals. Now, Algorand, as we all know, it's a very sort of academic and credentialed blockchain that was founded by Turing Award-winning cryptographer Silvio Maselli. The Turing Award, that's essentially like the Nobel Peace Prize, but for computer science, so that's top of the line. There he is right here. That's the that's Silvio there, the founder of Algorand. He's a professor at MIT currently, and this is the president of FIFA right here. Here's where they announced their partnership in last May. Then in addition to the sort of uh, promotions on the stadium and the stadium on jerseys, possibly, there also is they're launching the FIFA Collect. So this is like an NFT marketplace. It's a, it's a new platform that allows fans to own and collect FIFA World Cup memorabilia and moments. So this is what the marketplace looks like here. It looks like you can buy sort of just memorabilia from past World Cups, basically NFTs, but Interesting enough, they're really shying away from using the word NFT. They went out of their way to distance themselves from using the term NFT when presenting their FIFA Plus Collect sort of memorabilia collection marketplace. So it looks like with this partnership, both FIFA and Algorand are going for uh, sort of less of the hardcore crypto elements and more of just the, uh, the academic uh, credentialed blockchain. But that's not the only reason Algorand is poised for a breakout in price over the World Cup. Also, November 28th to 29th, they are hosting their own 
sponsorship, uh, their own conference in Dubai, Decipher 2022. So it's not a crypto-wide conference. This is just Algorand's own conference, and that is right in the middle of the World Cup in week two. And as we all know, when blockchains have their own conferences, the price almost always pops. The reason is that the teams save uh, big announcements for at the event. Uh, a lot of discussions happen. A lot of just creativity is stimulated. Developments, a call to action. So, yeah, it's it's, it's almost unheard of for a price, tokens price to go down when they're spot when they have their own conference event, and it almost always goes up. So this during the World Cup. Prime for a breakout. They also have some big speakers. They, I mean, this is a little trendier last week. Sam McAfee is currently on the speaking agenda. It was very trendy when they announced that last week. Not really anymore for obvious reasons. Who knows if he will actually still be speaking there, but got a ton, tons of other great speakers. Silvio, the founder, the current president, Stacy, Anthony Scaramucci. So, yeah, majorly bullish on Algorand. Let's get into project number two, Crypto.com. They are an exchange, usually ranked in the top 10 in terms of daily trading volumes. They're based in Singapore. They're kind of mostly known as a U.S. exchange in terms of markets, uh, customers, marketplace, but they are headquartered in Singapore. So they are the official cryptocurrency trading platform sponsor. So they're, so they're like the trading exchange sponsor, whereas Algorand is the blockchain technical sponsor. And then they say uh, it will be provide significant branding exposure both within and outside the tournament stadium. So it looks like the crypto.com logo will be splashed all over the stadium. The field doesn't look like on jerseys, but it looks like outside on memorabilia stands, etc. Merchandise standard partnership there. Crypto.com, as we all know, they have a long history part uh, sponsoring sporting arenas and events. They, the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, Staples Center in Los Angeles, that is now the Crypto.com arena. They also sponsor the Men's and Women's Professional Football League in Australia, and they've also been involved in motorsport, MMA, and basketball, and ice hockey sponsorships. And they all Crypto.com also announced they're doing the Visa FIFA World Co uh, Combined sponsorship with Visa for so this is separate than the one than the naming um, the, the the merchandise sponsorship. So together with Visa, they're doing some giveaways. There looks like a bunch of people can win a free luxurious all expenses paid trip to the World Cup. They partner with that, and then they also have an NFT. Uh, merchandise so that gets a campaign that will kick off with an NFT auction ahead of the World Cup. During the World Cup, fans attending the tournament will be given an opportunity to create their own digital art. So it's some sort of NFT merger between Visa and Crypto.com. So I would definitely be bullish on them, Crypto.com, going into the World Cup and throughout. It's like a project number three. No surprise here. This is Chile. So they're not an official sponsor of the World Cup, or not that I could find at least. But they are the world's leading blockchain fintech provider for sports and entertainment. So what does that mean? Well, under Chili's, that's the platform. And then Socios.com, that is an, an engagement platform under the Chili's umbrella. And it allows sports teams to create their own fan tokens, specifically in soccer, known as football in the rest of the world. So some of the teams that have created their own sports tokens under the Socio platform, which is underneath the Chili's blockchain, and Chili's is the one that has the token, not Socio. So it's FC Barcelona, Juventus, Paris Saint-Germain, Atletico Madrid, a bunch of other ones. And then Chili's also is the issue of fan tokens for some national teams, so not just some club teams and like the Premier League, also some national country teams, the World Cup, as we all know, it's the national country teams. So Argentina and Portugal's fan tokens for their teams, and obviously we know Lionel Messi is in Argentina, Cristiano Ronaldo, it's their last World Cup, so that's big. So those two individual fan tokens are under the Chili's umbrella, and Chili's, as mentioned, it is a tradable token, and it actually it had a pop last week. Right here, it went up about 20%, not based on any new announcements, just based upon hype of the World Cup coming. It pulled back a little with the market pullback of the last couple of days, but I would definitely be bullish on Chili's going to the World Cup. Project number four, it's not individual project. It's just all the individual sports team tokens that I mentioned before that are under the Chili's and Socio umbrella. So this is broken down to two. There's the national team tokens, like the Brazil national team fan token, and then there's the club teams like FC Barcelona fan tokens. So the ones that I think are poised for the the most pump is the national team tokens, obviously, because those are the teams that play in the World Cup. So the ones in green here, 
The Brazil national team token, that's a tradable token, bullish on that one. The Argentina team token, as mentioned before. The Portugal team token, as mentioned before. And Spain national team token, that is under the Chile's umbrella. So if you want to just buy, if you're bullish on just the whole soccer sector and just want to buy sort of all these coins in a basket, then you just buy the Chile's token because that sort of represents all these. But if you're bullish on a few in particular teams, like you think, I don't know, Brazil is going to win it all, then... You know, by the Brazil national team fan token, but all of these I am the bullish on. I think even the club teams will have sort of a, a peripheral effect of getting getting the boost just because it's soccer. Paris Saint Germain, FC Barcelona, Manchester City. A lot of the players from those teams are playing in the World Cup, so I think they'll benefit as well. So for today, hope you enjoyed this episode. So again, I'll have a guest on tomorrow's episode. I'm gonna post that one a little bit earlier than usual tomorrow. We're filming today, I'll post that tomorrow morning. I have some stuff going on in the afternoon. Stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Drop a comment down below. Let me know which of these platforms you are bullish on. Without further ado, Ben Crypto signing out. Catch you later.